The Environmentally Sustainable Alternative, Part 1, Hemp History 101. Long ago, when these ancient Grecian temples were new, hemp was already old in the service of mankind. For thousands of years, even then, this plant had been grown for cordage and coarse cloth in China and elsewhere in the East. For centuries prior to about 1850, all the ships that sailed the Western Seas were rigged with hemp and rope and sails. For the sailor, no less than the hangman, hemp was indispensable. The Conestoga wagons and prairie schooners of pioneer days were covered with hemp and canvas. Indeed, the very word canvas comes from the Arabic word for hemp. In 1813, the Americans took a trip across the Lake Ontario to steal a lot of hemp. First they captured Old Fort York, the royal ship burned down. Then they went to harbor front to see what could be found. They filled 14 ships with hemp sails and hemp rope, burning all the rest before they torched the town down. The Brits got so mad, seeing Parliament a burning. Revenge! They cried and burned the White House down. In the old days, breaking was done by hand one of the hardest jobs known to man. Now the power breaker makes quick work of it. The hemp industry can now recover 95% of the fibers, rather than the 25 to 50% as before. In 1935, Henry Ford's desire to unite industry and agriculture would lead to the formation of the Farm Commergic Council. The Commergic model would use the country's farmers to supply the industrial needs of the 20th century. The expanded markets would bolster the dismal state of affairs on American farms and ease the emerging problems of petrochemical pollution. Ford and the Council would find support in the like-minded genius of Thomas Edison and plant geneticists George Washington Carver and Luther Burbank. In 1938, advances in hemp decortication equipment prompted Popular Mechanics magazine to call hemp the billion dollar crop with 25,000 uses. The development sprouted a new kind of hemp industry in Minnesota, one poised to exploit the cellulose-rich herds for use in the plastics industry. In 1916, the Department of Agriculture published Bulletin 404, written by Leister Dewey and plant and paper chemist Jason Merrill. Printed on hemp paper, the bulletin warned that forests cannot withstand the demands and praised the paper potential of hemp. Henry Ford had a vision of growing automobiles from the soil. At the company's River Rouge plant, Researchers used annual crops to develop biodegradable car parts and in 1941 unveiled a car whose plastic body was made entirely from hemp, wheat straw, and sisal. The bioplastic withstood blows ten times as great as steel without denting, and its reduced weight promised better fuel efficiency. 1937 was my first summer to spend with my grandfather. And at that time, they grew hemp to make rope. And him and the next farmer had a, a, a machine. And you made your threads, okay? After you had it on the spools, then you would go and make rope. But then in, in, in the, 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 the latter years of the Depression, uh, they banned it. It was banned by the government of North America. It, it came at just when the Depression was right at its worst, about 19, in this area, about 1937. The law was passed that it was illegal to have hemp seed. It was illegal to have it, and it was illegal to grow it. It was actually illegal to have hemp seed in your possession. It was stopped being used by Mackenzie King. And you would, I would listen to the old timers, my Uncle Bill and my grandpa and uh, Fred Wagner and... Uh, those people talking. 
Like they really felt that uh, they had been hardly hard done by. In 1942, in a full reversal, the U.S. Department of Agriculture presented the movie Hemp for Victory, encouraging farmers to grow hemp. The hemp industry was in decline when the United States entered World War II. With a nation's supply of manila hemp and jute curtailed by the Japanese invasion of the Philippines, the government turned to the farmers for help. The war hemp industries built 42 mills throughout the Midwest. Hemp production rose dramatically as the nation's farmers produced 60 million pounds of fiber for the country's supply of cordage. But then they banned it. It was banned by the government of North America. In the waning years of the 20th century, the Earth's most useful crop re-emerged on farms the world over. For more than half a century, hemp was a crop in exile. To bring into the world 200 million new people a year, that equal to the, nearly equal to the population of the United States, and to not want to bring in a source of shelter and clothing and food is virtually irresponsible. The heritage of the past is the seed that brings forth the harvest of the future. Many years ago, hemp was grown everywhere and we don't know why. It's been so hard to get folks to see that it's the rope kind, not the dope kind. It's clean, it's organic, it's safe, don't panic. You can make anything from it. It's a miracle plant, there's nothing hemp can do. We know you'll love it. The earth has a chance for survival. It's not just a fantasy. Get on board the hemp revival. Save a planet. Plant a seed, get on board the hemp revival, save a planet, plant a seed. Hemp, me say hemp seeds, tasty hemp seeds is what we all need. Hemp, me say hemp seeds, tasty hemp seeds is what we all need. We want to eat them to keep us all healthy. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Put them in our recipes, put them in our oatmeal. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Hemp, me say hemp seed. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Hemp, me say hemp seed. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Essential fatty acids and lots of protein. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Roasted, roasted, salted, or dehulled. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Hemp, me say hemp seed. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Hemp, me say hemp seed. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Omega-3, Omega-6, and GLA. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Make them into smoothies, make them into ice cream. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Hemp, me say hemp seed. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need. Hemp, me say hemp seed. Tasty hemp seed is what we all need.